Forty percent. What is forty percent of four hundred? Now we could use PBR and identify which one of those is the base, which one of those is the rate, saw for portion. But we don't have to because each one of these things will translate directly into something mathematical. What does the word of always mean? It means multiply, doesn't it? So this is 400 and this is 40 percent. This says multiply 40 percent times 400. What does the word is always mean? Equals, isn't it? And what is usually the unknown, isn't it? That's what we're looking for. So we've got unknown equals 40 percent times 400. Well, how about just multiply those two things together and you're done. Don't have to think about PBR. What if we said uh, 240 is what percent of 600? 240 is what percent of 600? We can do exactly the same thing. We could say that's the base, that's a portion, and we're looking for a rate, but we could just translate this little sentence mathematically. 240, what does is mean? It's equals. This what percent, that's our unknown, isn't it? And of means times 600. So if we let that unknown be a box or X or whatever you want to let it be, we've got 600 times this thing equals something else. But we don't want to know what 600 times that thing is. We want to know what just one of those things is. So how do we get rid of that 600? Divide both sides by 600. And when we punch that in, we'll get a decimal 240 divided by 600, or we could reduce it first, 24 divided by 60, get 0.4, is that right, 0 0.4? But it did say what percent, so we'd want to change that to a percent. 40 percent? All right. So again, I think there's a section in the book that has like 15 or 16 problems in a row that are sort of like these sentences. Let's do one more. Uh, we did the percent. Ah. 17 is 30% of what number? Seventeen is thirty percent of what number? Well, what does is mean? Means equals. Thirty percent is just thirty percent. What does of mean? Means times. And that what number is just the unknown, isn't it? So how do we get the unknown by itself? Divide both sides by thirty percent. So if we divide 17 by 0.3, we should get a number bigger or smaller than 17? Should be bigger, shouldn't it? 30% of something bigger gives us 17. It's got to be bigger than 17 if 30% of it is 17. So what do we get there? Uh, 56 repeated. Yeah, and make sure you get your decimal in the right place. If you end up with 566, you say, wow, this would be a f more than a fourth of that. I don't think 17 is more than a fourth of 500, so I must have gotten my decimal in the wrong place. And usually in the book or on the test, it'll say to round to two decimal places, so we'd round this to 56 point what? 6, 7, okay rounded to two decimal places. All right, any questions or comments on that of translating those mathematical sentences into equations to solve?
It's, a, it's another way of doing PBR.